All right, what's up, YouTube? Look, I like the grainy look of the video. It's got like a haunting vibe to it. I like it. You know, it's like, you know, it's about to get real kind of feeling. But we're going back to the announcement right after Canelo Chavez. You remember the WWE style entrance, which, you know, hey, I like the theatrics. But uh, I'm going to play a, maybe like two or three videos for you guys as we talk about Canelo. Now, look, a lot of people, you know, they tell me that I'm hard on Canelo, that, you know, I don't give him due credit and I'm biased. I'm this and that. So today, 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 tonight, actually, this is like nocturnal admissions tonight. You know, here I am, you know, hurricane bound, bored to death. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get on YouTube and talk about Canelo. I'm going to talk about why he can beat Gennady Golovkin or, or, you know, what the best argument to make for Canelo. I've done it in the past, but, you know, things change, right? Your opinion evolves, right? Your thought process changes. So now... <clears throat> If I'm a Canelo fan, this is what I would say. Or if I could just talk to Canelo, this is what I would tell him. Like, hey, Canelo, I think you need to do this, this, and that. You know, this that, that type of thing. So let's get into it. Okay, look, Canelo, he's always been a big, light middleweight, right? With, the you know, the catch weights, the 155 catch weights. So to me... Moving to middleweight should not be a problem whatsoever, considering that he gets in the ring as a light heavyweight. You know, he's admitted it now. You know, he kind of hit it in the past, never getting on the official scales. But now, you know, he pretty much openly admits it, okay? Uh, during the Chavez fight, he said he felt great at 164.5. You know, he said, I feel great. I feel like I'm at my natural weight. Uh you know, and he said he was comfortable. And in fact, he even had to drain down. Remember, go back and watch the weigh-in. He talked about draining down to make 164.5. So look, Canelo, he's just short. That's the problem. You know, he's like short, wide, and stocky. And, uh, you know, kind of like the same problem that Sean Porter had. You know, that's why he can't really move up because his height. I think Canelo is in the you know, same situation. So, Point is, I think he's a natural middleweight, but he needs, you know, he needs about two inches on his feet and two inches on his wrist, you know, to be, you know, considered a true middleweight. But, you know, so it's debatable. So point is, I think he's a natural middleweight. OK, now Bernard Hopkins, he said that Gennady Golovkin has not improved. But my, but here's the thing. OK, and I don't want to make it about Golovkin. I want to talk about Canelo. But, you know, why should Golovkin change his style if it's unbreakable? You know, why should he change up what he does if if he's if, if it's unbeatable, right? You know, but I think Canelo has improved, you know, especially a goat look and, and you know, we like to go back to Mayweather, which, you know, I guess uh, it's a talking point. A lot of people like to go back to Mayweather, but if you go back to Mayweather, he's improved dramatically. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, I will give him that for sure. You know, I think he's grown into a complete fighter or or as good as he'll ever be. I think Canelo, as of right now, I think he, this is the prime, the peak Canelo, okay? And, and I think right now, this is probably as good as Canelo will ever be, okay? Now, boxing. Here's the thing. Boxing is a cardio first sport, okay? Cardio first. I mean, look what we just saw with Mayweather McGregor, right? You, you, you've got to have the cardio. you got to be prepared to go all 12 rounds. And, you know, when you look at that, <clears throat> I mean, who do you give it to? I mean, who do you give the edge to? Do you give it to, to Golovkin or Canelo? Uh, you know, I would probably say, probably say Canelo right now as far as, you know, cardio and stamina. Just because, uh, you know, I don't know. It just seems like to me in this situation, you know, styles make fights. I think I believe that Canelo will have the better the better cardio and and, and like boxing boils down to cardio. So, um, you know, yeah, so I give him a chance, you know, a good chance. And actually, you know, when people ask me if Canelo wins, what kind of chance do you give him? I would say a split decision. You know, if it goes to the judges, I would say, you know, they'll probably give Canelo the nod because, uh, you know, he's the cash cow, right? So that's what I would say. Let me get you guys a different video here. Let's see. I uh, always get confused on how to do this. Sorry. Hang on. But uh, I'll continue talking. But, yeah, you know, I don't know. I, it, it seems like to me that Canelo will have the advantage whenever it comes to to the cardio. I mean, that's just truly what I believe. 
here I don't know what this is but we're gonna watch it as I talk oh I think it's this is that Golovkin uh, Golovkin video yeah we'll put that right there okay now Let's talk about the slap boxing. Okay, so look, cardio, I got to give it to Canelo. I think now he's at his natural weight, okay? I think he has improved dramatically, okay? Number three, <laughs> as Abel Sanchez calls it, slap boxing, right? We know Canelo, there's, look, there's a lot of, there's a lot of open, kind of open glove shots, you know, where you don't necessarily land on the knuckle, you know, he kind of lands at the fingertip, and, and, you know, I do this, I have a reflex bag that I use at home, and I, I do a lot of slap boxing with it, because it's just the way it moves, you just kind of slap it, so I get what he's talking about, but here's the thing, you know, if Canelo can land, you know, let's say Canelo can land shots at, at, at maybe, you know, 70% power, right? He's going to get the nod from the judges. They're going to look at CompuBox. They're going to do this. Oh, look what CompuBox says. You know, he landed X amount of shots. And and even if they're just a little slap pitter patter, he's going to get credit for it. You know, so Canelo, I think, you know, with the flashy combos, we talked about it. He's an in and out fighter. You know, he'll fight in a burst. He'll come in, throw a combination, get out. You know, and I think that's going to gain him points in the, in, in, in the eyes of the judges. Now, you might have Golovkin landing those bombs right there, the meaningful punches. But with Canelo, I think he's going to get credit for all of those punches. So, you know, um, and that's the thing. I think a lot of people are really overlooking that. You know, it's, it, I think a lot of people are kind of stuck on the idea, you know, well, he can't hurt Golovkin, you know, and, and you know, I don't want to get into, you know, the, 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 you know, technicalities or technical aspect of the fight. But my point is, I really think he's going to rack up points. I do. Um, and I, and, and I think, like I said, this fight will be a battle of stamina and, uh, but you know, he's got to be careful that he doesn't punch himself out. And, and that's the thing. Like I said, you know, it's, it's about cardio, but don't punch yourself out. So, and I'm going to try to move on make quick. Okay. Body shots. Okay. This is another category that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about. Okay. The body shots. I mean, look, the body shots can reduce Golovkin to average power, right? I mean, you can zap Golovkin's power with body shots. And right now, I don't care what anybody says. I believe Gennady Golovkin is looking soft in the body. And if you look, you, how can you look at him and tell me he's not? And then I understand people, okay, well, you know, on fight night, he's going to look good. Don't worry about it. I mean, I'm not really worried about it, but, but I'm, I'm beginning to become worried about it. Like I'm starting to worry about it because now at this stage of the game, you know, uh, Look, during the open media workout, I mean, I can see the love handles. Like, I have, I'll have, i show you guys screenshots later, maybe at the end of the video. You can see the love handles from the back of Gennady Golovkin, and he had this little bulge hanging over the top of the belt, you know, and there was even, like, a little bit of flab under his arm, like, near his underarm. I mean, that's, that's just not typically what we see out of Golovkin, you know. So the body shots, I think, I think it's going to be a key factor. I really do. And and look, they know it. Canelo and his team, they are 100% aware that Golovkin is looking a little bit soft in the body right now. So, you know, like I said, even if it doesn't, you know, drop him or whatever, like Golovkin goes down from a shot, you know, a body shot, it's going to take away some power. And and look look at look at the Arizlandi Lara Canelo fight. Uh, uh, Canelo going through the body, you know, and, and that's what he does. You know, especially when he's out boxed, out out anything, he attacks to the body. So you know, I think that's going to be a big part of it for Canelo. Uh, now Canelo, he needs to learn to fight going backwards uh, and, and not just on the ropes. Okay, keep it in the middle of the ring. That's another important thing. I think I think Canelo would do best in the middle of the ring, and uh, and he needs to learn how to fight on the outside. I mean, we we've all seen it. The only time Canelo is comfortable on the outside is if he's dominating, right? So he, he I think they really need to work on you know keeping it right in the middle of the ring because it, look you can't get backed up in a corner with Golovkin you can't go to the ropes you can't go to the inside because you're going to get killed in there you know so he's got to learn to fight going backwards now I think he fights better going backwards than he does on the outside okay and when I say the outside I, I'm referring to 
you know, just within range, right? Where your inches, you're in and out of range. And I've talked about like this diameter. It's like an invisible diameter, you know, and, and, and as a boxer, your lead foot and, and you know your reach, you know, you step just inside of that range because you know you're going to land and then you step out of it. That's on the outside. You know, so I think uh, I really think he needs to, to focus on that. But, you know, you can't you can't really you can't really teach a boxer to do that in one camp, but he needs to work on it. So uh, and yeah, you know, I think he needs another, you know, this is something I was going to leave out, but. You know, I think Canelo does a pretty good job at this. The head placement, okay? Whenever he's, like, throwing these shots, he needs to be to the left of Gennady Golovkin, okay? And I thought about this. Like, Gennady Golovkin, let's say Canelo, throw the left, right? The, or throw the jab, then a left hook. He needs to move to his left, and then Golovkin's going to throw a right, and then Canelo can counter the right. But but he needs to stay to the left or to the right of Gennady Golovkin. And I've, I've watched him do it in other fights, so I know he can, you know. <clears throat> but that head placement, stay to the left, stay there, you know, don't square up. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Do not square up with Gennady Golovkin. And I've noticed whenever Canelo feels, you know, when he feels anyone's power, he'll get to the left or he'll get to the right. So, you know, that's very important too. So I think, you know, I think he's capable and able of doing that. And really that comes with what we just talked about as him growing into a complete fighter. I think he's, he's learned those kinds of things to where, you know, a green boxer really wouldn't, wouldn't think about it, especially in the heat of the moment, because, you know, everyone's got a plan until they get hit. When you get in there, you know, you think you've got it all figured out, but the thing is you've got to stay calm and composed. And I think he will, I don't think Canelo's going to crack up in there. I don't think he's going to, you know, get frantic and get caught with a shot. I think we're going to see a cool, calm, and composed Canelo. I really do. And, and I think a lot of guys out there are underestimating him. Okay. Okay. The youth, right? Uh, Canelo needs to use his prime and, 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 and his God given youth ability as much as possible. You know, make Gennady Golovkin feel old, right? And that's what you do. When you're in the ring with, with an older guy, been there, done that, you make them feel like they're old. You know, uh, when they're looking tired, start bouncing up and down, dancing, or, you know, make them feel old, make them look old, you know, look fast, make them look slow, that kind of thing. He needs to use, use, uh, his youth and along with faints, okay, with the faint, right? You know, whenever he's in that moment, you know, like I said, stay active, keep busy. I think Canelo can do that because he does have the youth. But the question is, putting on all that weight, will he have the stamina? I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. And the jab. Canelo, he's got to learn to establish a jab because it could be the contest of jabs because we know Gennady Golovkin, you know, he basically won the fight with Daniel Jacobs with a jab. Hang on, guys. I got a pizza in the oven. I got to check it. All right. Look, man, I've been hurricane, hurricane bound. I got my power back on. I went and got food today. I'm not about to burn my pizza, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, the jab, right? Like I said, he needs to just just work the jab, and I think he can do it. Okay, uh, jab, left hook, roll out to the left, then counter the right, thrown by Golovkin. Like I said earlier, now imagine you got an opponent in front of you, right? Throw the jab. Okay, you're gonna move to your left, throw the left hook, and then as Golovkin throws the right across your right shoulder you come right down the middle with the right. And I think that's going to be a move that they're going to work on. So, but, uh, and you know, here's the thing. And let me, you know, I just wanted to point out a few things that, that I see in Canelo. Okay. Uh, like I said, the youth, the stamina, you know, the cardio is important. The body shots, uh, the fact that I believe he'll be awarded for each and everything he does in there to work like, like Gennady Golovkin, you know, it's like the bar is set high for him. Look at the Jacobs fight, right? I mean, Jacobs made it 12 rounds and, 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 and people like considered that a loss for, for Golovkin, you know? Uh, you know, so I think uh, if Canelo can make it to round 12, you know, um, like I said, Abel better start up the van, get ready to go home because they're going to give it to Canelo. Now, Everything, let me end here. I don't want to end on, on a bad note, but to me, everything is stacked against Canelo, right? I mean, the height, the reach, the power. Although in a recent interview, Canelo was talking about how he said he's got the power advantage and, uh, you know, he's he's the better knockout puncher, you know, which is a little bit delusional. So, and that's another thing. He needs to remain humble, uh, but, but, 
let me get back to where I was going. Everything is stacked against them right now. I, I, I don't understand why they're taking the fight and why they're so incredibly confident, right? It's like they're not even worried about it, you know? And then Canelo being the only one with a rematch clause, and then we have the whole thing with the IBF changing the rules in May. You know, you have a lot going on, and it, I, I just continue to question, you know, what's going on, right? Uh, it's, it's like they know something we don't. And then Gennady Golovkin you know, appears to be a little bit out of shape. And, and again, I don't care what anyone says. I mean, my, your eyes don't lie. Just look at him now and go back and look at him in any, at any other camp, and he never looked this out of shape. In fact, I've never seen Golovkin look the way he does right now, period, like ever. Okay, so, and I'm not saying he doesn't look bad, okay? He doesn't look bad, but he doesn't look great. OK, you would think leading up to, a, the, you know, the biggest fight of his career, he would look great. Right. Beyond good. Like, you know what I'm trying to say here? So I don't get it. I don't, I don't get why he looks good. You know, we'll call it good and why he doesn't look great. OK, so but that's that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I don't want to make the video too long, but. Um, you know, I'm giving I'm I, I'm definitely giving Canelo a chance. I haven't made a prediction yet. But I think I know where I'm going with it. I think I know. I think I know what I'm. I, I'm kind of like torn between two different predictions right now. I'll leave it at that. So what do you guys think? I mean, leave your comment below, and uh, and I'll be back with another one.